All right. First, I want to thank some of you guys who've been very respectful and kind of giving me a little time um, from the I am. I respect I'm, I'm thankful for that because uh, I did need a little uh, time to get some of my stuff in order and kind of uh, get back to date with some of the stuff I'm doing. So I really want to talk about some of the things that I have available or not available, but some of the things that you need to know. And this is a trick that happens in court and attorneys do this trick a lot. OK, they do this trick a lot. And the reason why I want to show you this is because attorneys will say that there is a final judgment in a case that there is no final judgment. OK, uh, only way the only way a final judgment can be entered is if the case is decided on the merits. OK, so this is why I always tell you guys you have two challenges. Technically, you have more challenges, but this is just me teaching you the basis, the basics of everything. You have two challenges. You have a procedural challenge and an on the merits challenge. Now, you do have constitutional challenges, but all that other stuff. But I'm just saying a basic challenge is either a procedural challenge or a challenge on the merits. OK, so with that, what attorneys will do is they'll say uh, the court, they'll petition the court to enter a final judgment. But they can't do that. So attorneys will trick you into thinking that a final judgment was entered in your case and a final judgment was never entered in your case because it was never decided on the merits. In a case that has never been decided on the merits, you can file a motion to vacate at any time because it has not been decided on the merits. OK, so now we're going into judgment versus final judgment. Judgment is the court's official decision to or determination regarding the rights and obligations of the party in a legal action. It can be on various issues within a case, including procedural matters or specific claims. So when I'm using ChatGPT, I'm not using it to teach me stuff. I already know the stuff that I'm running through ChatGPT. I'm just using it to, to teach you guys because I can find all of this stuff in law and procedure. So final judgment. A final judgment is the court's last ruling that resolves all issues in a case, leaving nothing more to be decided. See, see what I'm saying? So they have to go 100 percent on the merits. You have to have a trial, basically, for a final judgment to be entered. You have to have a trial. If you never had a trial, if the court tries to enter final judgment, that's fraud on the court. That ain't just fraud. That's fraud on the court. And if the attorney, if the judge signs off on it. Fraud on the court. And the, the judge now becomes liable for the fraud. It conclusively determines the rights of the parties involved. And once issued, it typically marks the end of the court's involvement in the case. After a final judgment, the case can be appealed or enforced, but cannot continue in the same court. Right. So you have to understand what the court needs to enter in a final judgment. All right. So courts with authority to issue a final judgment that invokes res judicata. So if a lot of you guys, some of you know what res judicata is, some of you know don't know what res judicata is. But this is a very important thing that you need to understand, because if a case is not res judicata, it could be attacked at any time, collateral or whatever. Attorneys will lie and say that there is a final judgment entered. That does not mean it's true. And when I was helping someone with this, well, I'm still helping her, but with this mortgage, attorneys are very deceptive, right? And remember, the court, the judge also is an attorney, so they will play a game on you. So don't don't get it like even though some people come to me saying, oh, the court is corrupt, whatever. And I push back on you. But the reason why I push back on you is because I don't want you to be emotional. or I don't want you to be in your feelings. OK, because don't don't lose the focus. <laughs> OK, res judicata is a legal doctrine that prevents parties from relitigating the same issues or a cl or a claim in a, a lawsuit. So just because you have a final ruling on something doesn't mean you can't bring another claim. So the state can consistently sue you on old claims if they want to. But if you know what you're doing, you will make it to where once you win, they can't sue you. OK. Or relitigate, relitigating the same issue in the uh, claim, claim in the future lawsuits once it has been finally adjudicated. A final judgment on the merits by a court 
of competent jurisdiction bars the party from bringing the same claim or issue again. Okay, courts with authority to issue final judgments. Trial courts, okay? These are courts for of first instance where the case is originally filed. They have the authority to issue final judgments on the merits of a case. Remember, it says on the merits. What robs them from deciding a case on the merits? A procedural issue. If there's a procedural issue like standing, uh, uh, fraud, etc., any ruling that was done has to be set aside and heard. Examples include state courts, superior courts, circuit courts, uh, federal courts, e.g. E U.S. district courts. Okay, so they're saying that they have the authority to issue a final judgment. That doesn't mean that every final judgment that they issued or every judgment they issue is correct and accurate. Okay, appellate courts. When a case is appealed, an appellate court may issue a final judgment if it affirms, reverses, or modifies the lower court's decision. Examples include state appellate courts, e.g. courts of appeal, federal appellate courts, courts of appeals. All right, so the Supreme Court, the highest courts in jurisdiction, uh, e.g. a state Supreme Court or the United States Supreme Court, can issue final judgments that are binding and evoke res judicata. Once the highest court issues a judgment, it typically ends the legal court process because you can't go nowhere. Can't go nowhere else. So just because you lose in one case doesn't mean you can't bring back and sue against that case or reopen that case uh, uh, and, and add new claims. You see what I'm saying? So for judgment to have res judicata effect, it must be final. It resolves all claims and issues in the case. So if you never resolved all claims and issues in the case or you never answered to them, you need to know how to do that, okay? On the merits, it addresses the substance of the claims rather than the procedural or technical aspects. By a court of competent jurisdiction, the court must have the proper authority over the subject matter and the parties involved. This ensures the matter cannot be relitigated in the same or another court. So if you get a final judgment, like say if you actually have a trial, like a jury, a jury trial or non-jury trial in the court rules. And they haven't addressed all the merits or all of the arguments in the case, then it's not it's not a final judgment. And with that, what I, I wanted to say, thank everybody. I appreciate everybody's patience. I am updating the three, four. I am updating the four, one. So I'm not detoxing that. I have the three, four updated. I'm just having I have people watching some of these uh, updates uh, and giving me feedback. So I'm now I'm kind of waiting for it. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to be doing some of my updates to my four, one class and uh the three four class and some of my other classes if i can um but yeah so i just followed up with everybody and have a good one